Good morning everybody, Rich here, back for part 10 and the final part of this SS Normandy tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the lifeboats, handrails, um, tennis courts, sort of things, the crow's nest. Uh, there's a few other things I've got written down, I just can't list them all at the moment, but there's plenty to do. So before we do the big jobs, what we're going to do is go to funnel number 3, because there is a small platform slash raised deck that goes behind the funnel number 3, so we're just rush all the way down to there and just trying to read my notes so yeah right so we're at the funnel number three here and we're going to go right to the back of the actual funnel so we're on the platform anyway uh, the grey platform and at the, f the back end of the actual funnel we're going to go to the back wall and go um, 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 fourth back so I was just, <laughs> just trying to read my notes there's one two three fourth back and then we build our white wall so this wall is going to be 25 wide so that is 12 other side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve same the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that's 25 wide and then forward of that you want to build uh, forward three so one two three like that and then inwards three one two three and then forward 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 2 inwards to connect to the funnel. So do the same on the other side. So it's forward 3, 1, 2, 3, inward 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 10 forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 2 across like that. So that's the base of your platform, and then you just want to increase that to 2 blocks high. 2 blocks high, not 3, so 2 all the way around. And then we just add another grey deck on top of that, or inside that rather. So just fill all this inwards. And there we go, that's the uh, sort of platform slash deck. That's sort of similar to the one below, but uh, this one is on the top here. And then once you've added that, you just want to add the grey roof or grey floor to it. And we just use the grey, or the fill to also fill. Uh, 35, 7 with 200 radius and there we go that's the uh, grey floor all added and it should look something like that so it's not really anything special but uh, it's on there anyway so that's uh, that all added and now I'm just going to read my notes and work out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing next um, 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 um. right so what we're going to do now we're going to go back to funnel number 1 which is further down here Funnel number one at the front, of course, and we're going to the back wall of the base, which is down here. And we're going to add what looks like to me in the photographs and the models, it looks like a, a load of stables, but uh, it's probably changing rooms and things. But uh, hey, hey, there we go. So, what we're going to do from the fourth block of the back wall, so the back wall, and go fourth block back. So, one, two, three, four, we build there. And this wall is going to be seven wide, so one, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way, and increase it in height to two. And what we're going to do, add a centre wall from the centre block. We're going to build a centre wall which is 36 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And I'll just measure that to make sure that is 36. And yep, that's 36, so that's fine. And then what we we'll do, we'll double it in height. So it's two blocks high. And then you want to build the three out either side at the back end. So that is sort of, the, well, the design is basically a large eye shape. And I'm just trying to think, how are these spaced out? Because I can't remember how these are spaced out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a quick... Uh, rough idea of this, so we put them f uh, a wall there after four blocks, there's a four gap and then leave a, uh, put a wall four gap, put a wall four gap, put a wall four gap, put a wall, oh, three gap that was so a four gap again four gap again, I'm just doing this at random so I can see how this works, so that's not quite right, so we don't want every four blocks, so if we go to every five block instead so every five blocks instead, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five gaps, sorry. So instead of a four gap, we had a five gap. So there, two, 
four, five, come on, two, three. Three, four, five, one, two, three. Three, four, five, one, two, three, and there we go. There, that's fine. So that is how it should be. It should be every five blocks, or every f or every sixth block, really, because you've got a five block gap and build on the sixth. Five block gap, build on the sixth. Five block gap, build on the sixth. And what we we'll do, we we'll just increase those walls to two blocks high. Not explaining this very well, but uh, hey ho, that's how it goes. And that's sort of it's either cubicles or I don't know right now what it is, but uh, that's that side. We we'll just do the same on the other side, so the three or the, the rows of three. There. So if you've seen the the, the prototype model I've done, there is a sort of stable design. But uh, that's it uh, done there. So that's that's the size of it. And then what you want to do is just add the roof. Now the roof is basically uh, actually I'm going to fly over to the prototype because I don't want to screw this up. So at least you'll get an idea on what I'm actually trying to uh, build. So we just fly all the way over, and uh, there's the there's the thing actually we're trying to build in between the tennis court sort of things, and that's what it is. So it's basically slabs for the roof, but uh, that's the design as you can see. So we'll fly back over, all the way along. Dilly d, dilly d. What was the colour? Uh, the slabs are. I was using, uh, I think it was nether brick I was using, so I shall try using nether brick for the roof. And we shall go from there. So just fly back over and add the roof. So for the base of the roof, for the, the, bleh, the design of the roof, we put a slab, two slabs, three slabs, like that. So it's a slab, two slabs, and three slabs. So that's the design of the roof. It's either, was it nether rock or nether rack, whatever it's called? Nether brick, uh, or was it oak? I use dark oak instead. Actually, it may work better. I oh, pissed on the wrong thing. And as you can tell, it's Friday. Everything's going wrong. <sighs> right. Well, anyway, that's the <laughs> that's the roof or part of it. So I just want to build the same thing all the way along, and uh, we shall be fine. So I'll do one side, and then I'll uh, do a copy paste because this is going to take all day with these slabs. So I just add the roof as quickly and as accurately as possible. Which is going to be bloody impossible. Actually I can use br uh, blocks for this, can I? What is it? Uh, dark oak blocks in the centre. It's basically two slabs, isn't it? One slab is half a block and then you just add two, uh, a single block in the middle. And we're going to add another block for the centre one. So. So wasting loads of time doing this, really not trying to do that, but sometimes these things happen. Let me just add the slabs on top. Right, there we go, that's one half done. Alright, and it looks something like that. So what I'm going to do is use the Fantastic World Edit and finish it off on the other side because I'm getting really fed up with it now. <laughs> right, there to there. We use the copy, the flip to the right, and then we paste it. There we go, that's the... Uh, whatever the hell this building is, it's now done. So apologies for all the time wasting and uh, inaccurate things there, but uh, it's all done. Right, so now, what we're going to do now, on the prototype I did have the outlines of what is, uh, I think, tennis courts. And i just get my um, quartz block back if I can find it. Uh, that one. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a couple of tennis courts on either side. So we have two on this side and then we'll add two on the other side. So for the tennis courts, we're going to go sort of from the front wall of the uh, building. We go one, two, three, four out. And then we sort of cut a hole and start the um, the, uh, the tennis court. So they're going to be 9 wide and the sides are 18. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
and then for the side is 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then we just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And just, just chisel out the gap, and then you can add the tennis court itself. And then we go, there's the gap done, and then we just add the white outline. Like that. There we go, and then we're going to break this down into three now. So after, say, uh, what's the length on the inside? So that should be 16 there. Or 17, rather. So we're going to break this down now. So we've got to go... So it's four space there. And a four space there, and then a space, a larger space in the middle. So I cut a line across the, across the middle there like that. So it's a four block gap from the front line to the next line. And the same on the back end. So you should have two, so sort of it's broken into three like that. And then down the centre of the middle section, add another line. Like that. So that's that court. Um, nothing really special. And if you want, you can add a net across the middle. Or in my case, iron bars. Um, something like that. Yeah, it's, no, it's nothing really special, but uh, you know, it's it's something. I think it's tennis courts anyway. It's, it's, it's what I've seen on the pro on um, on models. I don't know if they were actually tennis courts, but you know, it's uh, a random thing. So what I'm going to do I use world edit and copy this to the uh, to the next one along. So we're going to add two to this side. So we do copy, and we just add another one about another gap away. So we will just paste it there, and there we go. So you got two courts. Like that, oh, and then we just add the uh, net across the middle, and there we go. That's two courts there. So what I'm going to do now is just use the copy paste to copy and paste it to the other side. So bear with me on this. Did I go from this end? Hit copy, and we want it a. Th three block gap. So one, two, three, and on the fourth block we paste. Uh, okay, undo that, just slightly wrong. And there we go, that's that paste is in place there. And all I need to do is just add the net across the middle. Once again, wasting too much time trying to get this thing right, so I do apologise. Anyway, that is the tennis tennis courts done. And uh, that's that detail there added. So that's something. That's some of the space used up because there is quite a lot of bare space on the ship. But hey ho, never mind. Now on, while we're at the uh, front funnel, we're going to add a few doors and windows. So from, say, so where the wall curves from the back um, to the side, we're going to add a few doors and windows. But don't add them all the way along the side of the straight wall because I don't think they were on the real ship. So I just get the the door available to me. And what I'm going to do, add a few windows. I'm just going to do this at random because it's basically the same as what I normally do. So it's a row of three windows, or th a window which is three blocks high rather. Uh, add a couple of those, or three, on the curved wall there. And then down here we add a door, or two, preferably without digging holes in the bottom. And then we add another two windows, or three, four, uh, another three windows. So window there, window there. Actually, we had four windows, a window and a window like that, and uh, that is how that looks like that. Nothing special and pretty random, but uh, it don't look too bad. So I just use copy paste again to get it to the other side. So we go to that point there. So we just do uh, the copy, the flip to the right, and the paste. And there we go, there's the doors added on that side. So there we go, that is the uh, funnel done there, or the funnel base. Uh, just bear with me while I read my notes for the next job. Right, so what we're going to do now is to add the crow's nest, which is basically a basket which hangs on the mast. So we go to the front mast, there's only one of these needed, and it goes... Um, I don't really know, so let's just give it a rough measurement. We'll sort of go... Um, 14... 
17, 19, 20. Let's go about 20 blocks up from the bottom. And we'll just add the crow's nest. Which is, like I said, basically just a basket. So just build a rough design around like that. So that's basically your crow's nest. <laughs> kind of looks like a bathtub, really. So yeah, it doesn't really matter, but uh, that's that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, that job. Right, now we move on to the lifeboats. Now I'm going to work on the right-hand side for this because this is what I normally do. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the boat deck, which is this area here. And you've got this straight wall at the front of the very boat, uh, the very front of the boat deck. Now this wall here is something that's a bit of a puzzle to me. I don't know if there's actually stairs to, for access to this area or it's just fenced off. So before we build the lifeboats, I'm just sort of pondering. Uh, if you want to add stairs, we'll find the stair block. That one. If you want to add stairs to this, just cut a couple of blocks out. Actually, didn't too many there, so we could just add a stair block there and a stair block there. And if you want to add stairs, I'm not sure if this was actually on the real ship because I, I normally leave this bare. I did on the on the prototype, but if you want to add stairs here for this area, then by all means do so. Make, it kind of makes sense, I think. Yeah, I think if you want to, yeah, we'll just add the stairs. So. So basically, just it uh, connects this area there. So, roughly, sort of two blocks from the superstructure, just add the stairs like that, and that's fine. All right. So back to the lifeboat. So from this back wall, which we just modified, from this corner here, we're going to leave uh, a four-block gap. No, hang on, a seven-block gap. Sorry. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or seventh block back rather. So it's a six-block gap. So we just leave it to one, two, three, four, five, six block gap and build on the seventh. That's what I was trying to explain. Right. And then from there you want to build up uh, five rows of two. So that's the first block. So that's a row of two there. And then two, three, four, five up like that. And then you want to build a row of three up. So one, two, three. And then forward of that build up two like that. So it's five rows of three, uh, five rows of two up like that. Then row of three and then two up that way, so you've got a shape sort of like that. And along the top there you want to build a cross, five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then one down, like that. So it's sort of a, a hook shape, so if I fly around this way you can see it. So it's up five rows of two like that, up three there, two up, then five across and one down. So it's shaped like that. And then that's your first uh, gantry davit, and then what you want to do is leave a gap of 17. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then on the 18th block, we build again. So, it's 5 rows of 2 up. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 2 up. And five across, one, two, three, four, five, and then one down, like that. And where the the uh, lifeboat davits are not connected to the actual superstructure, you can actually add a couple of blocks behind to connect it to the, um, the the superstructure here. The first one doesn't need it because it's connected to the overhanging balcony there. But uh, for the rest of them, you may want to add a couple of blocks so it's connected. So that's what I've done there. And then for the lifeboat itself. Okay, quick jump cut there. I had another issue with the uh, server, so uh, bear with me on that. Uh, so yeah, we've got the uh, two gantries in place anyway. So for the lifeboats themselves, just trying to think how to do this. Cause I don't want to collide with the. Uh, I don't. I don't want the boat to actually connect to the um, the, the overhang. So what we're going to do? We're going to go to the first section and go up one, two, three. And on the fourth section, we're going to go to the top block. And I think we'll start building the boat there. So put uh, build a line right across. From there like that uh, minus one block at the end so you don't need to connect it to the other side so it's one two three fourth section along and um, from the top block and then you can remove the first block and what we're going to do we're going to go up one and then up two like that and the same on the other side or, or at the back we go up one and then up two like that so that's the uh, the first boat base now on the prototype model in the distance the lifeboat the first lifeboat of each set was um, 
a different design, sort of a motorboat, speedboat sort of thing. So I may come back to that later on and uh, adjust that, or I'll just fly over to it so you can get a rough, uh, a rough idea of the design. But to what I'm going to build at the moment is just a, uh, a base for the boat. And then you can adjust the design if you want to. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to build two out there. Two and one out there. Or is it uh, two out there? I can't remember how I meant to build this. Um, so what we'll do, we'll build one there. And then we build all the way back. But not connect to the section there. And then remove that first block. And do the same on the other side. Remove that first block and then build all the way along. Like so. And then we'll do the same here, but we we'll go two out and then two out like that. And then we build all the way along. And then do the same on the other end, two out and two out. And build all the way along. To connect like that. Then we'll do the same on the other sides. Two out, two out. And all the way forward. And then two out like that. So that is the rough base of the boat, and we can just get rid of a few blocks in the middle there, like that. Um, not done this very well, have I? So get rid of that. No, don't want to get rid of that block. We'll get rid of that block. And those two. Yeah, that's how it's meant to be done. So get rid of the middle one, and then those two there. And that is the rough design for the lifeboat. Um, if you're familiar with my other tutorials, that's pretty much the design I use all the time. Except for smaller ships, but uh, that is that. And then for the canvas cover... I think what we use for the cover isn't really canvas, I don't think, it's just a, just a sheet over the top, really. Uh, what should we use? What should we use? We'll use... We'll use red. No, it won't. We'll use yellow. Because yellow is an underrated colour. So we'll use yellow wool to uh, add the cover to it. There we go, that's the first lifeboat done. And like I said, I will come back to this one. Well, I won't come back to this one, but I will fly over to the first boat on the uh, prototype so you can get a rough idea of the design. Because uh, it will be different. But the rest of the boats, all the way along the deck, will be the same. And each side, uh, there will be... Um, I don't know, actually, I've written it down. There's 13 lifeboats on either side. There's 13 this side and 13 the other side. So um, to start the next one, you've got the first gantry pair like that so what you're going to do from the last or from the second gantry you're going to leave a single block gap and we're going to build the same thing again so it's two up in rows of five or rough five rows of two so it's one two three four five and then two no, hang on, three sorry and then two and then one two three four five one down and if need be connect to the rest of the superstructure like so and then leave a 17 block gap from there along which is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and then on the 18th block we build our next gantry so it's 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up 3 and up, up 2 and then 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1 down so that's your second pair of gantries and just do the same process again, just add your lifeboat in between. And then for the next one along, leave a single block gap and do the same thing again. So it's two in rows of, or five rows of two, sorry. And then up three, then up two, five across, and then down one. And once again, leave a 17 block gap. And build the five rows of two again. And up the three, and up the two, and five across. One, two, three, four, five, and then down one. And that is the third pair of uh, gantries, and uh, connect it to the deck if you need to. So that's three pairs of gantries. Fill in, uh, just fill in the lifeboats in between. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill in, uh, finish the rest. So there should be 13 lifeboats down this side, and then do the same on the other side with 13 lifeboats. So I shall do that. And I shall return after a jump cut. So uh, back in a moment. Okay. 
Okay, back again. Now I've added the lifeboats down both sides of the ship, and now the uh, the ship herself should look something like this. All the boats down the side. It actually makes it look a bit more fuller now, as it's sort of more ocean liner esque. So the boats all down the side there, and of course on the other side as well. So like I said, there's 13 boats on either side, so that's 26 in total. It doesn't seem a lot, but uh, I suppose for a ship this size. And the lifeboats are probably bigger as well than what they were, what they used to be. And uh, let's fly down to the back end. Now at the back end, the last lifeboat, the uh, the the gantry does overhang slightly. You can see the uh, the last gantry does overhang the side of the ship. So what I've done, I added an extra block underneath, so it connects to the side there. So you don't have to build the lifeboat uh, at a skew or not in line with the rest of them. So I just added that one block there, so it sits uh, fine there. So that's all the lifeboats in place. And uh don't look too bad, do it? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fly over to the prototype and get a look at the uh, the first lifeboat, because I did say that was a slightly different design. So I'll just fly over to that and uh, see what we can come up with. So I'm just looking at the canvas or the, the covers of the lifeboats, and they're orange. Whereas the ones I built over there are yellow, so that's uh, a distinguishing thing. And what we do, we'll fly down to the boat here. This is the first lifeboat. So the rest of the lifeboats are the basic design, but the first lifeboat is more... Uh, speedboat esque design, so it's you can see it's sort of designed like that. Nothing really special, but hey ho, there we go. So I think what I can do, just take a quick look at what we got, and then I'll fly back over and <laughs> try and do the same. But I won't do it in in red or whatever colour that is, the um, nether rock or nether rack or whatever it's called, nether bricks. I shall use the quartz blocks for this, so I shall get the quartz slabs, uh, that one, and we shall go ahead and try and do the same. So I shall go one, two, three like that, and then build all the way down the back, like that. Replace these two blocks here with proper white, like that. So there's the base, so just fill in the middle. Like that, and then roughly halfway along, uh, say one, two, three, four, five, sixth back on the side here, we just add another line of quartz there. And then we add some windows like that, and maybe a window or two down the other side. Same here, add a window there, like that, and quartz blocks around the back, and then a quartz block roof. Like so, and that is kind of. <laughs> I don't think I've got it right. I think I've just completely messed it up. But uh, you get you get the rough idea on what I'm trying to achieve. Um, I think what I could do is just remove everything I've just done and uh, put the windows at this height. Don't look any better. Nope, don't look any better. But uh, you know, sort of just trying to make things up as I go along. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not perfect. It's not pretty either. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things you sort of have to trial and error at. But uh, hey, hey, there we go. Right, so that is the lifeboats uh, done and ruined in that department. Um, let's go ahead now and move to the centre of the ship, or roughly to the area between funnel number three and funnel number two or follow number two and follow number three, whichever way you're going. And what we're going to do, we'll go to the left hand side, which is the, no, the right hand side, sorry, so we're on the right hand side of the ship. Funnel one there, funnel two there, and funnel three here. And on the uh, deck house between uh, funnel two and three, you've got this uh, straight wall here. And what we're going to do, we're going to add a line of grey blocks. Now I'm going to use light wool grey, wherever it is, there. We use light grey. And we'll mark out roughly about 10, uh, 20 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's only a temporary number because this may change. And what we're going to do, we're going to build the ship's name. And I'm just trying to remember how to do this. So the letters themselves are only four blocks high, but I'm just trying to remember how to do this. So we'll do the N, so that's that, like that, and then like that. Does that look like an N? 
I suppose it could. You can put a block there and a block there instead. And uh, yeah, that's that's more of an N, isn't it? So that's an N. And then for the O, we go two at the bottom, uh, two at the side like that. Mm, not doing the O justice, to be honest. <laughs> um. Oh, pissed at this. I don't really know what to do. Uh, Right, let's try this tactic. So I try that, do that design, and I use the court stairs. I use the stairs for this. Where's the court stairs? Where's the court stairs? There's the court stairs, right? So I use the court stairs, and we'll do that, and that, preferably that way, and then there, and there, and that is that's an O, isn't it? There we go. We've got an O now. So we've got the N and the O. Then for the R, we do one, two, three, four up, and then one forward, and then a stair that way, and then underneath like that. And there we go. There's an R. Doesn't look much like an R, but it's an R nonetheless. That's the uh, the R. And then for the M, we go up four again, and then we put a block there block in the middle and then that's an M like that so we've got the norm the ship is now called norm and now we just need to add Andy right so let's put the grey wall back so let's get the wall and add a few more blocks so we need to add Andy now so we get the A we go up three and then we put uh, a stair on the top Block across and then a stair, then blocks all the way down, and then for the uh, middle part of the A we use uh, stone, not stone. We use quartz slabs. So put a slab there and a slab there, and there we go. There's an A. Here we go. See, we're getting there now. We've got an A. We've got Norma now. Nor. Uh, now we need an N again. So we go up four. Put a block there. Same here. Go up four. Put a block there. So we've got Norm, Norman now. <laughs> so now we need a D. Up to three, four, then a block, and a block at the bottom, and then a stair there, and stair there, and then two blocks there. So there we go. We've got a D now. So we've got Normand, and now we just need to add a few more grey slabs or grey blocks rather. And then we need what do we need now? We've got the Norman D. You need an I. So an I, fairly straightforward. Straight up like that, so that's a Norman D, and we just need an E. So once again, go up four, and we use slabs for this. So a slab there and a slab there, and then two slabs in the middle. Or if we want to, add another slab at the top and another slab at the bottom. And there we go, we've got Norman D. And we have the ship's identity, Norman D in the middle there. So that's the Norman D, Norman D name. And what we want to do then is just do the same. Do the same on the other side, go from corner to along the side. Probably have to spell it backwards there, but uh, I'm not going to do that again because it takes so bloody long. So I'm going to do a jump cut and uh, fill that in. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again, and that was easier than expected. We've got the Normandy on both sides now. We've got Normandy. And uh, that's the name all added there. So that is <laughs> that little job there. And apologies that I uh, took so long to do it because it uh, really was a fart assing thing to do. Um, and I think, really, there's not much else to do. We're just going to add a couple of staircases now. So, other side of the Normandy badge, uh, on this straight edge here, we're going to add a couple of, we're going to add a two block wide staircase, uh, preferably using wood stairs. Like so, so we're going to stairs, stairs, and stairs. And then the usual banisters, you two up and two up. Two up and two up, there like that. So you've got uh, an access to the top section there. We just do the same on the other side by the Normandy thing here. So add, remove those two, add the stairs, stairs, preferably the right way up, and stairs there. And then again, the two up and two up, and two up and two up, like that. And that's those two staircases, like that. And we'll add one more by the letter E on the uh, right hand side. So we'll remove a block there. 
and build out three uh, wood blocks then a white block and then we we'll add the stairs going down like so. So these, these stairs sort of face forward like that and there we go there's those stairs and once again just add the two up two up and one and then across the back you just add the wall there fill in underneath and if you want to you can add the full wall all the way around like so and so you've got the stairs there like that and I'll just do the same on the other side down to it and we just do one two three out and then the stairs going down and of course the white wall around the edge and there we go, that's those stairs done there, so you've got sets of stairs in that area there, so apart from small details like vent cowlings which uh, on my prototype I just placed it random, that's really it um, as you can see, if you, if you look by the funnels you can see little white things sticking up so over there, over there and over there they're basically just val uh, um, uh, vent cowlings which are three blocks high and one block forward that's basically all they are and uh, that's pretty much that design there's also small chimneys I'm not sure if these are actually chimneys because judging by the photographs and um, pictures I've seen there's there's not really any details to say what these things are hit here but I'll, I'll just quickly look at them so if you want to add them you can um, it's very vague in this area of what these things are so I built them as chimneys on the prototype here um, but I won't bother adding them on the uh, main ship over there because I don't really know what they are but if you want to add them then by all means do so uh, I just want to uh, I don't want to uh, uh, cause any confusion and things like that so I just thought I'd, I'd explain that right so apart from that and the vents um, the last job for me to do really is just to add the handrails and the handrails of course are iron bars and you may want to just skip this because it's going to take a while but uh, it allows me to do some talking and this will be the last job for Normandy so we just add handrails around the edge of each deck and this will probably take a good 10, 15, 20 minutes to do so if you want to skip this then by all means do so but I'll just add, add them anyway so around the edge of the decks, as long as the edges are deck level like this one here so you've got the edge and it's at the same height as the deck then by all means uh, add the handrails but as you can see on the deck below there's a wall around the edge of the deck so you don't need to, ha need to add handrails there but I'll just add the handrails nonetheless for the rest of the ship. Right, so normal routine for here is I usually go on and ramble about things that are not really important. Um, but anyway, that's that deck done there. So I do the same on this one up here. Uh, what can I talk about? Um, well, usual routine with these tutorials. Uh, once this tutorial is over with, which will be in about 10 15 minutes' time, uh, the ship will be converted. Uh, to well the ship already has been converted to from the depths um, and is awaiting destruction so that's the whole purpose of uh, these tutorials really is to get the boring tutorial out of the way and everyone seems more interested in the uh, the ship being sunk in from the depths which is a shame really because I do put a lot of hard work into these tutorials but uh, the views seem to be more about from the depths and the ship being destroyed there so um it's a shame but it's what people want to see and uh, that would be what people get so um, that would be that so I've done that deck down there so uh, we'll just skip the boat deck and do this one round here first so yeah the, the ship will be uh, destroyed sunk and mutilated in a from the depths video but it won't be today it may be the weekend or it may be the following week because I'm going to be away uh, from well not from the computer but I won't be able to do any recording for about a week so that would be uh, that so that's probably a week yeah it'll probably be about a week maybe more I don't know well it doesn't really matter because uh, this tutorial will be up here for ages and uh, the time it will take me to do the actual From the Dits video doesn't really matter so uh, by the time you're watching this the, the From the Dits video may have already happened so kind of irrelevant me saying anything about it but yeah the whole purpose of this 
uh, this rant is just to say they have had an update as well of From the Depths and I haven't gone all the way through it all to see what is actually new but graphically it's not very pretty it's um, the, the water effects is uh, interesting but uh, not very attractive it's, it's clearer uh, the water in some areas but um, it's uh, more green and it doesn't look all that good. Sound effects are a bit different as well. There's a few differences in the sound effects. Um, change of subject. While we're on the uh, boat deck here, there are areas where if you build the, uh, the railings along the side, you will end up building on a wood block. So if you want to, remove the wood block there and create a proper c uh, corner. And the same along here. Remove that one and build there. Same with the next one along. Uh, well, basically same all the way along, really, to get to the davits. And I think that's pretty much it. So then I just carry on now building the uh, proper handrails. And uh, carry on all the way along. So uh, rant over in that department. Um, yeah, the from, from the depths is an interesting update. I don't think they've actually improved the gameplay in any way. Um, because multiplayer, see, I don't, I, I'm saying that, I haven't actually tried multiplayer uh, since the update. So um, I can't really comment on that. But uh, other than that, there isn't a huge amount of difference being done. Um, there we go um, and also we're between the lifeboats here as well so if you want to add handrails between the lifeboats do so um, yeah that's it so uh, that's from the depths out of the way so for the next builds as well I haven't decided what the next tutorial is going to be uh, some have requested uh, SS Rex some have requested the Oasis of the Seas, the Allures of the Seas, the big Carnival cruise ships. I'm not going to build those because they're just too big. Although saying that, Normandy is a pretty big build, but these modern cruise ships are just sort of build one deck and then all you need to do is just copy paste the decks above because they're all basically just cabins. Hundreds and hundreds of cabins and they're not really worth the time and effort put into it because they're just so dull to look at. And uh, I don't really want to do it, so that's pretty much that. Um, so yeah, um, not really much else to say about the next tutorial, I haven't really decided. I'm not going to be bothering with a Titanic tutorial, I, I just can't be asked with it. Or well, not at the moment anyway, there's a lot of requests for a new Titanic tutorial. I just don't really want to do it at the moment because it's, it's just the same old, same old all the time. Um, so that's that. Um, so, oh, just at the... Uh, at the end of the boat deck here so we'll just uh, add the handrails around the edge of the front of the deck now so there's handrails around the edge of the front of this superstructure here around the front wall here so we we'll just add the handrails around um, but yeah not not really sure what to do for the next uh, next build um, the enthusiasm kind of dips every now and then and I suppose a lot of people know what I mean about that when you get into a big build like this it does take a long time and if anything else comes along say if I wanted to build um, uh, what is it there are other ships in this in this, er this era you know the really big ships like Bear and Garrier and um, um, other things like that the, the, the builds do take a long time to do and then the tutorial comes along and when people aren't watching it, you know, you're not getting the views that you, you know, you'd expect to justify the uh, the build, and then you know the enthusiasm does dip. Um, but uh, you know, it's sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. But I will decide um, what to do soon. I just get the from the depths video out of the way. There are probably a couple of from the depths videos that I need doing, definitely for Normandy. Um, and also for um, probably a couple of other ships I've got as well. I mean, there's one that Master Jam built that I want to destroy, <laughs> um, and I will try and uh, break his or twist his arm and allow me to do that. Uh, for the Mamba, you know, if you if you if, if you saw the the death of the Mamba video I've done, Mamba's not dead. Mamba is still alive. She has been uh, updated and. Well, turn into Frankenstein, basically. She's now in the possession of Master Jam. And if you see his latest video where he sank uh, one of his battleships, I can't remember what it was called, but he's, he's done a video where he sinks one of his battleships in the Mamba 
was used there. Mamba's been modified and uh, updated and is now in the position of Master Jam. So uh, she's got a home. She's not dead. She's damaged. Well, she was well, she was destroyed, but she's been resurrected and uh, is now in the possession of Master Jam. And so <laughs> let's uh, get that out of the way. That's, that's probably the, well, it's not the reason why I don't use Mamba anymore. I just don't use Mamba anymore because it's not uh, popular anymore. Because uh, although it's a item of death, uh, I think the Emma Jane and the uh, Desiree is more of a popular design. Although Des Desiree hasn't really been given any reviews yet. Uh, Emma Jane has so uh, that's uh, that's all that. But we're getting through these handrails, and it's uh, oh damn it, it is starting to transform the look of the ship. And I tell you what, building handrails all the way around the boat deck is a long old job. So that's the boat deck all done. We've got the handrails around there. So we've got plenty of decks out the way. Um, then to the next deck, the uh, upper superstructure. There's only half and half of this one because uh, of the. Uh, we've got the deck house in the way. So that's that side. Let's do the other side. That's that area done there. Just do the uh, well, the top deck here because the uh, area around funnel number three. And this really is taking its time as well. This means it's a massive amount of uh, handrails to add. And if you want to skip this, you can. You're not going to be missing much. Just me rambling and talking about various things. <laughs> um, you've got a bit more to do this side. A little bit round the Normandy badge. Let me do the same on the other side. And then the same round the other side. Like I said, this is really just a lot of talking and me placing handrails. So, like I say, if you want to skip it, by all means, do so. I mean, I'm not—you're not, not going to miss anything. If you want to hear me ramble, then by all means, listen. There isn't really much else for me to ramble about. Um, there's not much for me to do. Um, I suppose you could request a tutorial for me to do, or ships for me to do. Um, I did try and do a, a request for from the depths. You know, if you want me to, if you want to send your ship to me and want me to sink it, then I would. But uh, no one got back to me on that, so that idea kind of died. But never mind. So again, that's that area done there, and the same around the funnel support. We've got the funnel uh, around here. So funnel number three is the only funnel that will have handrails around it, and also a hole in the side. Um, so yeah, funnel number three is the only one that has handrails around it. Funnel one and two are just uh, they've already got walls around them, so you don't need to worry about them. So that's that bit, and then just around the base. Now 
And I think what I'll do, I'll just do this uh, this area here. And then what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut when I fill in the rest. Because otherwise we're just going to be here all day. Because there's still a bit more to do along the, uh, super, uh, the boat deck superstructure. And around the bridge as well. So um, I'll just do this section here and then I'll just jump cut it and do the rest. Just to save a bit of video time, otherwise it would be a real bloody day. And yeah, you don't want to listen to me ramble all that time. I just put myself to sleep. There we go, that's that deck house done there. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm just going to do a jump cut and uh, fill in the rest of the, the handrails along the sides there and around the bridge. And I shall return in a moment, so uh, back in a bit. Okay, back again. Now I've added all the handrails around all the bits that we missed. Uh, around the uh, boat deck superstructure, around the bridge, around the top of the bridge, and around the top of the boat deck superstructure. And that pretty much covers it for SS Normandy. Um, ten videos uh, containing <laughs> the build of how to build... Well, ten videos on how to build the Normandy are now complete. We now have two Normandies. We have Normandy A and Normandy B. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. That is the tutorial, and that is SS Normandy. Um, thanks very much for watching and subscribing and all things like that. Um, if you are going to build this and use it as a downloadable project, uh, then don't forget to leave credit for me, you know, of course, for the design and things like that. I'd also appreciate it if you wouldn't upload these things onto the uh, Steam Workshop there for From the Depths without asking me first. Um, did you know my design and things like that? Just let me know before you do. Um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, so yeah that's Normandy uh, the next time you see the ship it will be being destroyed in From the Depths sadly and uh, that will be for that so I don't know what I'm going to do for my next tutorial I haven't decided but uh, you know, just let me know what you, what you want and uh, I suppose I'll probably give in to peer pressure after that um, and uh, we'll see I mean there wasn't a, I wasn't going to do Normandy but uh, the people power got to the, the better of me and uh, I ended up doing it. Anyway, that is Nessus Normandy and this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. Um, and I shall return with another video as and when. So uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.